this is Angela Muscaratolo, a reporter at SC Magazine. Today we're here at SC Magazine's offices with Gil Schwed, CEO of Checkpoint. Hi, Gil. Hi, good morning. How are you? Very well, how are you? I'm good. So today we're going to be talking about some of the biggest threats for enterprises. Uh, Gil, uh, can you tell us uh, what are the biggest threats? First, the biggest threat in network security is the things we don't know about, but also the things we do know about, like bot attacks, uh, denial of service attacks, malware attacking the endpoint. All these things are alive, kicking. We are seeing them every day, and every company is at risk every day. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, then what is the threat? Um, you had mentioned during our briefing that Denial of service is a big threat to enterprises. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about that? We saw in the news uh, some government sites were recently attacked. Um, you know, what's the problem? Well, it's fairly easy to overload the web applications and web infrastructure. Uh, Actually, not with too much traffic, just and then it's basically taking down critical services. Most of these attacks today are this, like the second generation distributed denial of service attacks. So hundreds of different attackers would on one minute start to, uh, to take off a site and basically take it down. And unfortunately, these kind of attacks are very, very hard to block. They are becoming more and more organized, so they are actually organizing a network of individual computers when the owners of these computers don't know that their computers are actually part of that network, mm -hmm. and launching an attack against one company. Now, some of these can be handled and blocked. Some of these are really, really hand hard to, to, to block. So then um, the biggest threat would be being part of a botnet or one computer on your network being part of a botnet and not knowing about it? Well, the biggest threat is if you're being attacked. Of course, you don't want to cooperate and help others do that. And many companies are part of these botnets and have computers that are remotely activated to cause damages to others. And of course, that's a big embarrassment if you're part of it. Right. So switching gears a little bit, um, we hear so much about cloud computing nowadays and how um, so many enterprises are you know, getting into it and utilizing cloud computing uh, technologies. But you had some interesting viewpoints on it. Um, you know, what are your thoughts about the security of um, cloud computing? So clearly cloud computing is an important phenomenon and something that can drive businesses and help businesses. But there is very little in terms of standardization or layers of security that are commonly known. I mean, every serve every sort of company that provides this kind of cloud services is using different infrastructure, different ways to do that, and customers don't realize that then their information is out there, not clear if it's secured by the same standard that they would secure it or by other standard, not clear what level of uh, security is out there. And I think there needs to be a big industry push to uh, create more common layers of security. So if I'm a customer, I'm giving my data to someone, I'll know exactly how it's being controlled, and I know that there are at least minimal levels of security that are being taken. I'm not trying to criticize anyone. I think that the companies that are providing cloud services are aware of that and are trying to do their best. But let's remember, their job is not security. Their job is providing other services to customers over the net. Right. Um, and so then, uh, the switching gears once again, um, we talked a little bit about PCI compliance. And um, you know, the big debate, uh, does PCI equal security? And uh, what are your thoughts on that one? Well, PCI doesn't equal security, it's equal processes. And these processes, if they're done right, they bring businesses, mainly small businesses, to think more about their need of better infrastructure, better security, and so on. So in that regard, it's good. Like every trade organization or government regulation, it will always be behind the technology. And it cannot regulate specific technology because the technology changes very, very quickly and the rules don't change that quickly. But I think in overall, it's a good thing. Uh, I wish that more and more customers would use it in pragmatical way to simply understand what they need to do, and in, in, especially in the small business environment, it's very simple and it's not very uh, and it's not very resource or cost consuming to to provide good security for your business. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gil. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And thank you for watching.
Take care. Bye.